Hello and welcome to this week's sweet upload. In today's video, we'll discuss the popular French macaron cookie and utilize the method of Italian meringue to make this pipe confection. French macaron falls under the category of piped cookies. This category is also sometimes referred to as bagged or pressed cookies. Any cookie dough or batter that is extruded to form its shape would fall under the same category. Be sure to check out the 8 categories of cookie video to get more in-depth discussion on different styles of cookies. Other examples of bad cookies would include lady fingers, Viennese fingers, or spritz cookies. It's important to understand the difference between the French macaron and the macaroon. They are two entirely different products. Regionally, the pronunciation of the words will differ and sometimes be debated. What's far more important than the pronunciation of either word is understanding the fundamental differences of making each of them. First, the French macaron is again a bagged cookie, whereas the macaroon can sometimes fall under either piped or dropped cookies depending on the recipe. The next difference is the spelling of the two words. Macaron is spelled with one O, whereas macaroon is spelled with two. As for the main ingredient, macaron is made from a nut flour, usually almond flour, whereas macaroon is thought of to be a flaked coconut cookie. The last characteristic you should be aware of is the method that is used to make each product. The macaroon cookie will use a very simple straight dough method of mixing, whereas the French macaron will use the component of meringue as the base for the cookie. This can be done by using either French or Italian meringue. Today we'll be using Italian meringue as the base for our macarons. You may have wondered before, why are macarons so expensive in the bake shop? First reason is the food cost is higher compared to other small cookies because of the nuts and nut flour being particularly expensive. The second is the skill involved in making this confection. It takes a little bit more care to produce than most cookies, and they're slightly more labor intensive. Although not incredibly difficult to make, complete focus is needed as there are many key points to understand. First of which is meringue. If you haven't watched the French Meringue Basics video or the Italian Meringue Buttercream video, they are great precursors to this demonstration to get more in-depth discussion and key points to meringue. Let's do a quick review of Italian Meringue method before our demonstration. As with all meringues, ingredients must be clean and free of any fat. This includes separating the eggs cleanly and free from any egg yolk. First, combine the sugar and water in a pot and begin to cook to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature may be slightly higher depending on the product and stability needed in the meringue. When the sugar has reached 240 degrees Fahrenheit, quickly whip the egg whites to soft peak. Next, while continuing to whip, pour the cooked sugar down the side of the bowl in a slow steady stream. These are the basic key points to Italian meringue. Let's make some French macarons utilizing this component. Today we're making a hazelnut chocolate macaron shell, so our nut flour is hazelnut rather than almond. Our ingredients include nut flour, powdered sugar, cocoa powder, egg whites, granulated sugar, water, and a second measurement of egg whites. We'll start adding the water to the pot, followed by the granulated sugar. We'll then stir the mixture to completely hydrate the sugar after which we can place the pot on high heat. In a food processor, combine the hazelnut flour, the powdered sugar, and the cocoa powder. Blend the dry ingredients together until evenly incorporated, making sure not to overblend the ingredients as this may cause oils to release from the nuts, causing them to clump. A few pulses is all that's necessary. From here, transfer the dry ingredients to a sifter to ensure to break up any lumps or larger pieces that may remain. Sifting will help create a smoother finish to each macaron shell. After sifting, transfer the dry ingredients to a large bowl and create a well in the center. Returning to check the sugar solution on the stove, remember that once a sugar and water solution comes to a boil, it can no longer be stirred as this will promote crystallization. At this time, we can also check the temperature of the solution. We're getting close to the desired 245 degrees needed for this application. After adding the 90 gram measurement of egg whites to the mixing bowl, 
begin whipping at medium speed to slowly develop air cells in the egg whites. The sugar should now be at 245 degrees Fahrenheit. As the egg whites just begin to reach soft peak, add a generous pinch of granulated sugar to help strengthen the air cells before adding the hot sugar. Begin to pour the cooked sugar down the side of the bowl in a very slow, steady stream. Patience is key here. Adding sugar too quickly could shock the egg whites and cause them to coagulate. It is also important not to let the poured sugar touch the whip. This can quickly cause the sugar to crystallize. Once all of the sugar has been added, continue to whip the meringue for a couple minutes to cool slightly. Add the 80 gram measurement of egg whites to the well created in the dry ingredients. Combine all of the meringue with the egg whites and the dry ingredients. Because this recipe uses Italian meringue rather than French, the meringue is much more stable and can be easily mixed without worry of collapsing the meringue. If a French meringue was used, combining ingredients would have to be a gentle folding, whereas with this Italian meringue, we have to vigorously stir to soften the batter. Pay close attention to the consistency. The batter should only be thinned out to a thick ribbon stage. Overmixing at this stage could deflate the meringue, leaving the batter too runny. Test the batter by allowing it to fall from the spatula. The batter should then slowly sink back into itself. Take great caution not to overmix. Using a pastry bag equipped with a 3 8 inch nozzle, pipe the batter evenly onto parchment paper or a silicone baking mat. There is a link in the video description to a printable PDF template for macarons. This particular recipe will yield about 140 shells, one and a half sheet pans or three half sheet pans are needed for baking. When piping is completed, be sure to remove the paper template. Give the sheet pan a few gentle taps to ensure each macaron has an even surface. Notice the shine in the batter. If touched, the batter will stick to the finger. A 20 to 30 minute rest at room temperature is necessary to slightly dry the cookies. This is necessary for the macarons to develop their signature feet while baking. After the rest period, you will notice that the macarons have a more matte finish and had developed a skin. When touched, no batter sticks to the finger. These cookies are ready for the oven. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 12 to 14 minutes, rotating the pan halfway through baking time. After the cookies have completely cooled, use a small offset spatula to remove each cookie from the sheet pan. Begin to place the macaron shells in pairs. Pipe your desired filling directly in the center of each macaron half, leaving a small space from the edges of each shell. Keep the nozzle steady as you pipe to ensure the filling remains even when sandwiching the two shells together. Gently press another shell on top of the piped filling. The filling should just come to the edge of each shell. Depending on the filling used, you may choose to refrigerate the cookies for a few hours to allow the filling to set. In this case, we're using a soft chocolate Italian buttercream, so refrigeration will be ideal to stiffen the filling. An overnight rest of prepared macarons is best to allow fillings and shells to blend together. And there you have it, the key points to French macarons. If you have found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. And to ensure you don't miss any upcoming baking tutorials, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching everyone. As always, be well, be safe, and see you again for another sweet upload.